All right. Welcome to today's habit of code. Well, yesterday's habit of code. We're doing day 17 today. Um, we did day 16 yesterday. We're still catching up, but um, we had a sneak peek at this yesterday and we did the parsing, but we figured out that we would need to do some uh, pathfinding algorithm stuff and uh, 40 minutes didn't seem enough to get it done. So I decided just to do it uh, now in one day. Um, and let's see how it goes. Um, all right, so we coded up the parsing. So we are taking this example text here, parsing it into an array. And uh, you can do arrays in Haskell. Uh, they can even be mutable. They can have, you can do matrices. It's not too bad, actually, but um, um, obviously they're a bit diff more difficult to work with because you you don't know, have like built-in syntax for arrays uh, as you do with lists, but it can all be done where there's a will, there's a way. So let's remind ourselves what we are doing. Uh, so we're kind of, we released the lava and now it's flowing down and we want it to flow faster. So we put it in something called a crucible, uh, which is this kind of thing. It's just a big pot, basically. And uh, we're, we're, we're taking that down and we want to find the one that involves the least heat loss. And uh, so we get this. And then uh, what we want to do is we want to get from this top corner here to this bottom corner here but we want to do it in a way that minimizes the heat loss. Um, and the way we're going to do it is that we're going to look at the numbers here and pick the shortest path according to these numbers, which is just a Dijkstra's algorithm. Dijkstra's algorithm. And um, we're probably going to do something like A star, actually which is Dijkstra, but with some extra heuristics, which makes it a bit faster. Um, so Dijkstra, so what does Dijkstra, so what do you, how do you do Dijkstra? Uh, what you do is that you, um, you have a graph like this, and then you have some neighbors. And so you basically, yeah, exactly. So you mark the all nodes as unvisited, and then you have all the unvisited nodes and then you have a tentative distance such as zero for initial node and to infinity for all other nodes now during the run of the algorithm the tentative distance so then you just get the shortest path so it's basically breath first search um but with a uh, uh, with distances instead of just always picking some neighbor Okay, and uh, through the current node, compare and you'll get the one currently assigned to the neighbor and assign it. <laughs> compare, okay, so assign to every node a tentative distance, assign it to zero for our initial node and to infinity for all other nodes. During the run of the algorithm, the tentative distance of a node, the length of the shortest path discovered so far. Since initially no path is known to any other vertex, there's gonna be infinity and uh, then we just find the shortest distance. Uh, okay. So let's say, uh, ah, uh, now my mouse start working again. Let me plug it in and plug it, plug it out, plug it in again. All right. Mouse, which stopped working and then it started working, uh, but then it stopped working again. And now I'm back to this one. Uh, which works again, but it keeps stopping, it keeps dropping out. But I think I get a new mouse for Christmas, so don't worry about that. Um, so, let's keep this to the side. And, um, do, do, do. don't worry about the copyright on this picture, because I took it actually 
Let me see. Uh, we are going to. I want to put it like this. And then we want this one over here. And then we make this example a bit smaller. Because it doesn't really matter. Okay, so. Dijkstra. We're going to take in the array of int, comma, int. Int. And we are going to um, make a copy of it, I think. Uh, for the distances, data dot array. Okay, and can I map over the array? It's foldable, it's a functor. Okay, um, accessing arrays in the LMs. Ah, of course, I can't easily update the array. Uh, let's see. We'll go M array. Mm -hmm. So we have mutable arrays as well. Um, so let's do this. So Dijkstra is going to be going to take it in the uh, initial array. And we are going to take in the initial node and we're going to take in the target node. So now we're just going to do Dijkstra, uh, simple Dijkstra. And then Afterwards, we're going to do this because we can only move uh, three in a row at the start. So we're just going to do that a bit later. So this is going to be a uh, monad MRA, MRA, SD array, something like that. Uh, MRA, we can actually just make it an IO thing. IO int. Now we're going to have a bunch of side effects. Ah, let's make it SD of int. I like that better. So I want to see, so STU array is a, the, it's going to be an ST. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> I kind of forgot how to do these. Let me see. Um, int. So now we're going to do extra is equal to do. So we're going to say run st do. Now this run st comes from the st monad, which is in. Um, Import control dot monad dot st. Uh, we have some mutable arrays also. Import data dot m array dot m array m array, and we're gonna say import data dot array dot m array m array as m M A. Let's see. Qualified. How's everyone doing today? Um, run st. And we are. We want the monad array. So we want to say here do. Um, X. is um, ma dot new array mm. and we want we're gonna have it the same dimensions let's see r init target run sd do 
So R dot bounds um, R. Dum -de -dum -dum. Mm -hmm. So converse, so thaw. Yes, I think I can just actually convert a mutable array into a mutable array. So I can just do x is ma dot saw r, and I think it's going to complain now that it's not return zero. It doesn't. It won't know what a value of the b. So. Because uh, it's saying, so it knows it's supposed to be int, but it doesn't know the s. So I, I think I want the add st array, and then I need the language gc 2021. Does this one work? Um, Oh, maybe I have to do ma dot st array. Do ding ding. Um, it doesn't want that either. So what is this? Data dot array dot st. Import data dot array dot st. What what is this? Safe a uh, Google data dot array dot st dot safe. The safe API of only oh, okay. I think it's uh, gonna be fine, but um. Let's see. Now it's complaining, I think. STU array has kind star star. Okay, yes. STU array. The state variable argument for the ST type. Mm -hmm. Let me see, can I just do um, run st array here? Cannot, okay, and then um, ma.freeze x. Ah, uh, because it's saying this, okay, array int, comma, int, int. Okay, so now this one is an st array as, and then it's it allows me to just return it. Cool. What do I get if I do read file, read file, example, print dot parse dot lines. So here, this returns an array, int, int. So if I do, okay, I want to do this. I actually just need the array. I know I'm gonna go from the top left to the bottom left. Um, where in it is equal to in it comma target is equal to r dot bounds r. Mm -hmm. 
And now let's uh, print the top bars into Dijkstra. Oh, it just works. Okay, cool. Uh, then I can probably do. Um, So I can thaw the array and then I can I can also do um, uh, let's see I don't need to thaw the array I can just do uh, this is a ma dot new array and I want it to be Bounds, edge, bounds, and I want everything to be uh, so the enum type class. So I want it to be just max int, right? Uh, enum is the bounded class. Uh, let's see, enum max bound, it's called bounds. Max bound. <laughs> Max bound at int. <coughs> and now it doesn't know what to do. So it's saying new array. Um, let's see, what is the type of X here? ST array S. At uh, st array st oh, okay so it's a big a here and it doesn't like this because um so let me see if I can bind the S inside here, uh, let's see. This is going to be st ar array s in comma int, right? Uh, no, stra int int int, right? So this is going to be the s and int. I think, let me see. S kind, uh, what do you want? Okay, um, what do you want here? New array, okay. A, a zero, so okay. Mm -hmm. At in command is that um, st array? Yes, nice. So now because I, I bound the uh, the S there. So now this is all max int. Cool. Okay, let's go back to Dijkstra. Mark all nodes as mark all nodes unvisited. Okay, now I also want to modify. I want to set the. Um, <laughs> read array, write array. Exactly. So I just want to say here, uh, right array, dists, uh, zero comma zero, zero. Mm -hmm. So then we just set the distance of this one to zero, and then create a set of all the unvisited node called the unvisited set. 
Mm -hmm. Let me see. Um, so in the ST monad, I have some state, right? And I can do stuff with that state. Ding, ding. Uh -huh. And I can have the STREF, and then let's just do here. Scene is ST new mm -hmm. import data dot array dot st no import data dot stref. Who says you can't do? Imperative programming. It's also the best imperative programming language, you know, Haskell. Let's see. Uh, SDREF. Uh, now we have data.set already. This is going to be set.empty. And now it doesn't know what scene is to be, but uh, mark all nodes, create a set of all the unvisited nodes called the unvisited set. Okay, assign to every node a tentative distance, zero for initial and final nodes. Okay, so um, for the un current node, consider all of its unvisited neighbors and calculate their tentative distances through the current node. Okay. Um, Let me see, let nays is equal to map maybe. So we have here uh, x, so point. P is a point, map maybe um, uh, f to left, right, up, down, where. Um, Let nays be where f. Okay, so let's first write the f here. f is equal to move f p is equal to move. This is f p at dear case move p of move p dear of. Um, Y comma X. Then we check that. Um, in it at I Y I X. And target is equal to I T. Now, T, Y, T, X. Okay, so just have to check that I is less than or equal to, is bigger than or equal to I. Let's just make it like this case. So it should be larger than or equal to I, Y, and X should be larger than or equal to I, X, and... Um, And then we should have y less than or equal to t y and x less than or equal to t x, and they should go to just y comma x. Otherwise, we go to nothing. And now map maybe is not imported. Because uh, we don't import data, maybe import data, maybe map, maybe. Okay, so now we have the neighbors. Okay. Uh, 
So this is the initialization. Initialization. Mm -hmm. Do I need this X here? Yes. Do um, run ST array. So let me just say that. Can I do something like this? Just to get the... Um, he doesn't like this. What is the type of this? Uh, return. Ah, okay. Let's just grab the ST here from the X. Looks like it takes long. So let me initialize it. And then what are we gonna do? How's the audio and everything, by the way? I hope it is good. Looks good on my end, but let's see. Okay, now, um, so we write the dists zero zero. Let me say go is equal to. Uh, so we have this go. Ding 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 ding. Go empty is equal to. Um, Lists of target. Tests. Um, M A. Why doesn't it like this? Uh, I think it's just bang. Um. <laughs> Do what is it? So go dists. Mm, do I have to do MA? Go uh, next. So, uh, center and rear tentative. Okay, the current route will run from the tentative distance of a node V is the length of the shortest path is covered so far between. Consider all of its unvisited neighbors and calculate their tentative distances through the current node. So then we do here um, where. Let me see. Uh, Nays of next. Let uh, ends equal nays of next. In um, map r dot. Um, And to a dists Why can't I how can I couldn't match expected type array int int Array why so what is the type of go? Go 
takes a list of int comma int and returns uh, st as um, int okay so here we're gonna do lists dot bang at target Okay, so how do I access this M array? I have to do read array. Right. Uh, sorry. So I'm going to do dists uh, ma dot read array target okay that one works okay good okay uh, ma dot read array dists um these is equal to uh, I need to do this actually. Ds. So this is do. Okay, ds map m. Um, and then this one is. What's the type of this? So this is just a list of hints. <laughs> and what is can I do uh, sip with him <laughs> let me see and then I want NS NS I just want to do I need that F map M and and I just want to do n comma over so then this is a list of neighbors and their distances from the current node To the current distances right okay so tentative distance for current consider all of its unvisited neighbors okay so I also have to do So I still have to read SD ref unvisited unvisited ref. Okay, so unvisited is like this, and then we have neighbors, and we're gonna say filter um, not dot uh, set dot member flip set dot member unvisited right. Maybe not flip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, and I just need to do it like this. So these are the unvisited neighbors. And then I read the distances to those. Consider all of its unvisited neighbors and calculate their tentative distances through the current node. Okay, so the tentative distances. So the distance of the current node is going to be curtist uh, ma.read array uh, uh, next um, dists next. Okay, and then the the tentative distance. 
<laughs> so, so read array this next. And then I read all the compare the newly calculated tentative distance of the one currently assigned to neighbor and assign it um, if not A is marked with a distance of six and the edge connecting with the neighbor B is a length two, then distance of B through A will be six plus two. Okay, so then I wanna say um Right, so that's okay, so the Curve this is a so this is the distance of next. So ds uh, tentative ds curve is gonna be it's gonna be but here you don't read the this we read the um, uh, we read the x. Okay, and here we don't just do and prime we actually do um, plus curdist okay now we have the ds tentative and we have the ds curve mm -hmm. We can actually, we don't need to sip this. Let me do it like this, just removing some craft. And I think I need to do F map not. Okay, uh, DS curve. This is a list of ints, and this is a list of DS tentative. And then Oh, and we also want to write the parents. Okay, let's see. Um, parent. And uh, we have the same bounds. But here, the max bound. Let's just have this, um, nothing. So the parent of every node is nothing. So I want to say here, map M, um, on SIP DS tentative, um, the S curve. Let's actually have the node here as well. Mm. Okay. Um, let F equal. So we're going to say here. F and this is going to take in the, the neighbor and the T dist and the cur dist. 
equals so if the distance curtest is less than t dist then we do um right array uh parent uh the, the we write to the parent array and we write the parent of n is going to be uh next let's change this next to cur okay cur 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 Mm -hmm. Ah, and then these all changed. Okay, right. Any parent, parent, and just curve. Okay, so and then I write the array parent just curve, and I write array uh, dists. Um, Curtis. So that is like if it's the case, else, wise return. I don't know anything. Where's right array return? Yeah, it shouldn't return anything, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, F um, is type takes in the in comma int the neighbor and then the this and then the current is two S T S um, ah and it doesn't have the oops. Okay, so then I map ds cur, and now I've also discovered the new neighbors. So I want I'm gonna add those to the queue. I visit it will not be checked again. Okay, if that's been marked visited. Mm -hmm. Okay, go is uh, C, KC is equal to target. Then I just read the distance to the target because I have found it. Okay, otherwise we update the parent, we update the dists, and then we go go. And now we just add the neighbors NS to in front of the rest. I think this will work. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, but I never did go. So I'm going to say uh, T dist is go in it. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, but I didn't. I also have to. Uh, 
I have to write strf uh, unvisited ref uh, set dot insert cur unvisited okay it's saying the distance to the target is 79 <laughs> let's just consider this for a moment of course this is the path I want to so I want to actually say here I want to return a list of um, so path let's return so path is gonna be Reconstruct path, reconstruct path, uh, cur is equal to uh, cur. So we do uh, read ray parent cur. So case read array parent cur of nothing the empty list uh, just p to cur um, reconstruct path and then we just occur over reconstruct path p Now reconstruct path. Uh, read array is going to be uh, in comma int to sd s um, int. Uh, we need to turn here, and uh, this one is supposed to be comma int. Uh, reconstruct path. So P, ooh, case read array, okay, just P, why is it maybe, maybe? <laughs> Apparent, okay, read array, parent. <laughs> read array <laughs> it should not be this okay so parent is a maybe int int Okay, now, so we take in the M array, A, E, N, why is it just just P. That is very strange. Uh, return reconstruct path um, and 
конечно. No instance for MRA as theory, maybe, maybe. Yeah, because it's not just just. Okay, so here So the target is intent, okay, cur So do uh, PS Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why? Ah, uh, okay, two. C, read array, parent curve. Uh, okay, it's just because I don't do it. K, C, of. There we go. So this is the shortest path, but it probably, yeah, so it takes right a lot of times, which is not good, but um, I think this is actually um, we want to have the actual path okay so how does it go we go um, 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 0 5 0 7 0 8 0 9 0 10 11 12 and then it just goes down okay that's funny mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay um Anyway, we have a pretty good Dijkstra now. Uh, with the distances and paths and stuff like that. And then, if it's within bounds, um, then we're okay. Otherwise, let's see. Mm -hmm. So this is the heat loss of 102. So what I think is a trick that we have to do here. Let's also just, let's just, um, let's see if this Dijkstra works on the input. Uh, 
Oh, I don't have the input yet, but it's going to be huge. Uh, we already have input. Right, okay. Save it. I just want to see, like, if the trivial path... Okay, so it takes us... doesn't take us that long. Um... So what I can also do is I can make this into... You know, we can add a heuristic, right? By... Sort by... Mm, import data dot list sort by... And then, um, heuristic. So then we add the heuristic here. Array int int. Um, that basically makes this an A star. Uh, let me see. Uh, we'll go sort on is probably better actually int int to int and then let's make this sort on sort by sort on here we're gonna call it Here and print Dijkstra, and then this is just gonna be first, first, uh, yeah, first, ding, 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 ding. So Actually, it's better to have, I think, A, B, like int, comma, int, to int, comma, int, to ordering. And then we actually do do sort by. And then let's have it take the heuristic fear first, just to make it smoother. Okay, um... So Dijkstra is just saying they're all equal. So then basically nothing should happen. But it takes a lot longer. But here actually if I then make this um, x comma y and then let's see F, X, comma, A, comma, B, let here equals F, A, B, uh, here, uh, A, comma, B, C, comma, D is equal to, so then we're just going to take the, we're going to com compare them on the distance to the target. That's like A star, right? So, 
So, uh, and for us, that's actually just going to be um, compare a times a plus b times b with c times c plus d times d. Mm. Ah, but this is actually wrong, so we want the opposite order. Because we wanted to so that the uh, bigger one is first. Uh, okay, it just doesn't... It doesn't really help the uh, sort by the heuristic here. So then let's just go and uh, we always... So I think it's also because here we're also always putting the biggest one first. Okay, uh, so let's not bother with a star or anything like that. Now let's focus on making the path like um, making the path proper mm -hmm. what if I um You might not always have this on a grid, right? So this is Dijkstra with arrays. Let me just uh, Okay, maybe I can do it like this. Trace show M if I want to just see the path. So the shortest path is 892. Uh, if I ignore this, take the like, three distance rule. So let's see. <laughs> I think this Dijkstra works, but it's, it's this Dijkstra on a 2D grid, right? Um, Dijkstra, let's rename it. Um, 
So what we really want is we want to we want to make sure that so that I think we can kind of just do it. Um, So instead of giving it just like the ones that are one step away. We want to give it the ones that are um, two steps away and then three steps away. And then just do the sum. if this was just a Dijkstra because then we could also test our Dijkstra, right? Mm -mm -mm. I feel like also this would be like a nice nice part two but what do I know? Uh, let's see Okay, so let's actually, let's just convert it into a map. Okay, so Dyke, Dykstra. Let's do this all over again. And call it Dykstra map. <clears throat> okay, so now what I am going to do Okay, I have um cuz I don't know need to know the So then okay, so neighbors mm -hmm. So map may be FP uh, left, right, up, down. So the F is just, uh, let's change that to be inbounds. Inbounds. Okay. Um, in, let's see. This is such a stupid name, actually. Because uh, we're not actually doing anything with the... So let's write... Inbounds P, dear... Uh, true... False. Filter... Okay, and then map move P. So we just filter them first and then we do map move P. Okay, so neighbors, so this is uh, the one step neighbors. So let's let's make a list of the neighbors, okay? Uh, these are gonna be paths, okay? So we have nays. So for every path we have, we can take um, we can take a left, we can take a right, we can take up. 
and down. Um, we can take We can take a left, left. We can take um, left, left. I think I'm doing this in a weird way. The idea is to just Okay, maybe I can filter out the legal neighbors So I have to inform. So I have these are the ones in bounds. Okay, let's see. Ernest is Curtis, um, okay, so first we will say, okay, do. So IB, let IB equals Okay. Mm -hmm. So then I want to see what is the path to the current one. Uh, parent. Okay, but this won't. So we were seeing an array again. It's not good, but it's okay. Ah, no, this is the one path we can't got to the current one. Okay, so let's just say, um... So... Just... P is gonna be... So, let's do... A read array... P current... <laughs> okay, and reader AP curve and CP, and then um, CPP is going to be case. CP of nothing. Then, so if it's nothing, we it's just um, nothing. Um, just P read array P uh, parent. P. Okay, read array P, read array parent 
and nays okay so nays okay this is curve so let's see um <laughs> so I want to see here um, so CP is read or a parent curve so if there is no parent k c p of nothing then the main neighbors are just move uh cur cur i b It's map move curve IP. So if a CP is something, if it, we have a CP just a curve P, then I want to see how did we get there. Um, So from this is gonna be y comma x uh, and then so y one x one y two x two case a uh, x is equal to x two and uh, so if it's the same. Um, let's see what y is equal to y1 so it's the same line uh, is equal to if x1 less than x2 so to get uh, then so to get from uh, y, y, y1 point 0.1 to point 0.2 you had to go right, else left. Otherwise, so then x1 is equal to x2. If uh, y1 is less than y2, so then to get from there, you had to go then down, else up. Okay, so to get from uh, cur parent, then um, so we want to do here actually case just cur. So if we have a parent, then we want to get the parent of that one. CPP two, okay. CPP. I know I can just like do some uh, map, so maybe monad stuff here, but core parent, parent. Yeah, but I don't feel like it. Uh, it uh, I don't exactly remember how to do it, but it would be very nice. Um, let's just because uh, I because I also need to do the reading of the array, right? Let, let me just see what well, maybe I can just do it. Um, Prez, okay, so do just read just cur parent read array parent curve. 
Okay, and then just cur parent parent read array parent cur parent return maybe. Does it work like this? No? Oh, okay. I guess so. Um, read array parent cur, read array cur parent parent. And now let's see if... Um, so let d cur is equal to from. So to get from y1 to y2, right? Uh, so to get from, uh, yeah, from cur parent, from uh, cur parent to cur. And d, d parent cur, and then d parent parent equals from a cur parent parent cur parent. And let's see. Mm -hmm. Then if um, if d parent cur is equal to d parent parent, then Filter is equal to so not equal to d parent cur. So I just remove the direction that would cause it to be the third time. Ding 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 ding. ding. Oh, okay. Um. Return and then this is just case or as of. Let's just say here from maybe IB res. And this I need to import from data out maybe. And then I want to do map move map move cur from maybe uh, IB so res here There's no monad fail, right? Because this isn't... Because um, it, it's not in the map monad, right? And then I have to lift and you know, something like that. Ah. Okay. Let's then just do it differently, okay? Um... MB curb parent do MB two curb parent case uh, MB curb parent of nothing return IB okay um, just curb parent do mm. MB car parent reader a parent case MB car parent parent 
current of nothing return IB just cur parent parent no do and then we're gonna go let we're gonna go let and then we're gonna say if then else okay now we don't need any monad fail instance mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, and now it's not finishing that's not good um uh, It's just not finding any route to the target, I think. Or is it because I forgot to filter by the unvisited? No. And it's prime, and it's prime. Ah. Yes. Okay, but it's saying uh, one fifth thirty three instead of instead of uh, one hundred and two. So it's something wrong in the example, at least. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it goes and... Uh, I don't th I think it's doing something correct. Okay, so it goes uh, zero one, then it goes down one one, Okay, and it goes. We want to. Okay, then it goes. This is. Uh, ooh, it goes zero one zero. Okay, it goes zero one. Okay, this is zero one. Then it goes. Um, ah. Then it goes one one. And then it goes one two. One two. And then it goes two one. Or two two. Yeah, it goes down again. And then it goes to two two three. Three four. Or four so it's not just not getting the right path it does get to the end though which is nice did I maybe flip the from let's see a d d d let's actually make this a lot Less indented. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Right. So I filtered out the interaction, so it went. Okay, it went there. Uh, okay, so it went. Um, Let me now actually do um, Okay, let's just look at it Okay, so it went uh, 0, 1 0, 2 Okay And then 1, 2 Okay And then it went 2, 2 Um Right, let's see. So zero one oops zero zero, zero one zero two one two 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 <sighs> two three two four two three two four three four 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 five four six Five six. Oh no! Five six 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 seven six six seven six eight seven eight 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 nine eight ten nine ten. Uh, 9-11 Okay, I, I got, they got something wrong for sure Let's see I uh, maybe we, maybe we can't do it this way So we're getting the shortest path to a no and then we're just making sure that if we have two parents maybe I should always update No, we get the same. Oh, we gotta get a different path, path though. Oops. Neighbors cur. Let's call it valid neighbors. Okay, left, right, up, down. Because they're not valid neighbors, right? Because you, we so now so we're looking at the neighbors. And we're saying that if the way you got here is left, and the way you got there is if you the way you got here is right, and the way you got there is right. Um, then you should not take the right neighbor, right? Mm. 
Maybe I got this one wrong. Val did knees. Okay, let me see. Okay, this one is just doing nothing. Okay, maybe car parent of nothing. Car parent parent. So how did you get from car parent to car? So if the lines are the same. Um, if the lines are the same, so if so, then so to get from x1 to x2, if it's right, then it's right, otherwise, it's left, yeah. Okay, so otherwise, so let's just see x1 equals x2. So if you're in the same column, then to get from Y1 to Y2, ah, this one should be up. If Y1 is less than Y2, then to get from Y1 to Y2, you go, no, it's down actually. Uh, yeah, it's down. Wait. Hmm. Let me just check. Assert that move the parent cur uh, move a cur parent d parent cur is equal to cur import control dot exception search and I want to I want to make sure that move her parent parent a D parent Parent is equal to cur parent. <laughs> Valid nays is apparent to too few arguments. <laughs> Map. Why? R is 
map move curve res return our oh there should be a list actually Okay, let's write it down. Uh, valid nays. Int, comma, int. STS. Int, comma, int. Valid nays. non exhaustive patterns in function from d d d d d d otherwise equals error from and then show P1, P2, P1, P2. Okay, and why is it calling that? So there's no way to get from zero one to one two, right? Okay, uh, so it must have written at some point. it writing that it can go so all of them are really generated by this ns function right so I'm gonna say let ns prime over valid nice curve. And we just drew this NS thing. <laughs> ding 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 ding. Do, 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 do. What's the type of uh, assert uh, assert Okay, um, to trace show m um, cur, cur parent. Trace show m um, cur. Uh, 
her P Okay, and then so I do cur and cur parent. Ah, they should be cur parents. Okay, and then these were the right directions. Okay, so it's not, so the direction thing is correct. It's just that it's not good enough, I think. So the from function is correct also. And now if Yeah, so if you took the right, you took the right. I think I need to do one more layer maybe. I just think it's the yeah I think it's one more layer okay let's do it again uh, do MB let's call this one EPPP -P -P is read read array parent cur parent parent do uh, Case M B C P P of nothing turn I B just C P P C P P P it's gonna be P P P actually C P P P and do and then we're gonna do this whole thing let D parent D parent parent the PPP is equal to from cur from um, CPPP to cur parent parent and if the parent And CPPP is equal to the, the parent parent. Mm -hmm. mm, what's wrong with this whole thing? I think it's just indentation, right? And the parent cur is equal to the PPP. So if they're all the same, then we can't go right anymore. The PPP. Uh, we're still getting 117. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
่าอ so if it is then we have to turn 90 degrees we're not allowed to go back I think that might be the thing so let's see um, then if d p p p is equal to um, Member, if the BPP is equal to left or the BPP is equal to right, then filter inbounds per I up down. Else, and then it's uh, left, right. Mm -hmm. No, I still get. Okay, it's not enough to just go and say like the last. Hey, little Lenny. It's going okay, I guess. Um, we got the breath for search implemented, but we are still. We got the Dijkstra implemented, but we're still working on. Um, we're still working on the the extra thing. So see, if I just return IB always, so all the neighbors are always valid, then I get 79, right? If I try and filter so that um, Let's see, okay, but it seems like I'm closer now. So now it goes from, it goes to zero 01 first, right? And then zero 02 And then it goes to zero three. Okay, and then it goes a uh, one three, one four. Ooh, some Indian candy. Mm, super good. It's called Kaju Kadli. It's like cashew flour. Mm. And uh, ghee and sugar. It's quite good. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it's super good. Oh, sugar, ghee, cardamom, and uh, cashew flour. So the anyways it takes care of the um, <coughs> filter. Something is wrong here also. So here it goes. <coughs> One step, two steps, three steps to the right. So it was doing the right thing before. Because <laughs> now it's just taking two steps, four steps in the right, wrong, wrong, yeah. In the same direction. So. We have to remove this step. The parent curve. So then we go two, three, four, and then we change direction four, five, four. Six. So here we don't have any three more than three in one direction. Okay. So here we go. You know, we went. Uh, we go. Hmm. Okay. So we go down. Down. So down and then right, right, down, down, right, right, down, down, right, right. Mm -hmm. Down, down, right. Mm -hmm. Mm If I make this a large, larger, then I can. Oh, yeah. Now I'm a bit stuck actually. Again. Left, right, up, down. Is the right uh down left up. Let's just make it in that order. 
and then it gives it a different response, which is like, okay, that's not good. Then it goes, um, goes right, it goes right, then we go right, right, down, down, down. Oh wait, sorry. We go uh, right, right, down, right, right. I, I do think it's actually the other one. Because we're allowed to have uh, right, right, right. PPP of nothing return IP. Yes, the PPP of two. The PPP from CPPP car. Oh, sorry. CPPP. PPP um, to occur parent 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 the parent occur is equal to PPP <laughs> then you have to turn okay we get one one five then it goes uh, right right Right. Okay, it goes um, right, right, right. Hmm, let's have this actually be. just change the bounds here so that it is um, from one one to so just that it matches the uh, lines here because there's no reason to have zero index arrays okay so we go um, one two a one three one four and then it goes down to two four and then two five no two four two five right to six to seven and then it goes to one seven one eight mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One eight and um, it went to one seven, one eight, one nine, one ten, two ten, two eleven, two twelve. No, this is oh shit. We went to one ten. So 210, okay, then 211, 212. 
to 13 313 413 513 512 So we're, we're, we're having, we're getting a similar kind of shape of path, but not. Mm -hmm. But we really shouldn't be getting a different. Oh, okay, yeah, because it's uh, it's not breath for a search. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If we don't have a parent, then we can go anywhere. If we do have a parent, then we need to check if that one has a parent. If that one has a parent, then it's current parent parent, and then we read right current parent parent. And if none of them have they, okay, so then. Okay. And if they're all the same direction, then we have to turn. And then we turn. And if we were coming to the left or right, then we have to take a 90 degree turn. Which means we have to go either up or down. Otherwise, we're coming from up and down, and we have to take a left or right. So let's make this uh, down, up, and this right, left. And then it also changes the path again, which is very annoying. Well, that I, that's what I don't understand. Why does it change the path? I mean, obviously it selects a different path, but it should be still, they should still be equally short. So if I got, that's the shortest path to getting there, right? Maybe I should um, 
return in here. Return just n, otherwise return nothing. And let's say this is in comma in. So I'll only return the ones that I found the shortest path to. Maybe. So this is map maybe M. No, let's just map map M F M B N S maybe N S prime, and this is then cat maybe's M B N S prime. Import data that maybe can't maybe is <sighs> okay. It doesn't change that one to just add the ones that we just saw. Maybe you were seeing nodes um, twice. That could also be it. Filter. Not dot. Flip. The dot member. And visit it. Uh, but we already f no, we already take care of that. By uh, whenever we look at the neighbors, we filter if they're in the visited set, um, and they're never gonna be. They might maybe they're added twice. But they're never like looked at if they see them again. I think we always need to explore all of them and this is in the distance to the target so do dt and then it is actually dt plus uh, Plus, um, so it's we read the distance to the target, and then we also want to read the Curtest of read and read. Yeah, okay, so it is uh, this. So ma dot read array x 
class uh, ma dot read array but we need the R R bang target. So because we need to get to the target and then we need to get a then we get out of the target. But so, um, maybe not. So we, we get that the target is in the path, right? Okay, and then this target go in it. So then I'm just gonna say a reverse reconstruct path and let's see what happens if I just add together all the ones in the path a map r r dot bang path let a p links a trace show m path trace show m p links Okay, so we're getting the right path length as well. That's like, that's not the case. Um, so four, one. And then why does it choose the three and not the one? Then it chooses as three and five. And then four. Three, and five. And then four, but why doesn't it choose one and five and four? That doesn't make sense. <clears throat> so it sees the This is Curtist. Aha, uh -huh, I think. So this should not be Curtist. I think this should be. Um, ah, no, okay. It is. Uh, so we read the array of X. 
Yeah, okay, this is the this is the length if we get there. Let me see, uh, what if I just reduce the example a bit? Let's see. Example me him. Okay. Oh, this is not. This is the wrong. Mm -hmm. So here, let me see. I want to go. Um, Let's just do it like this. And now let's uh, print the example min here, example m. Okay, then it will goes. Um, it goes for one, one, three. So it goes four, one, three, five, and it should go four, one, one, five. Can we even delete this? It goes four, one. It goes four, one, three. Three five and it should go four one one five. Okay, and that's just uh, let's just see here. <laughs> Trace show M cur trace show M N S. Okay, then it looks at, uh, so the current one is 1, 1. The neighbors are 1, 2, 1, 1. The neighbors are 1, 2, and 2, 1. And let's actually do trace. So let's just do... Um, Ratio M just I can't do that because I can't show the discs. Um, read array get ass hawks MA dot. Mm -mm. Okay, I think I have to do to do like this. Okay, so <sighs> okay, uh, so it's one one. So we have two one, and so one two two one, and after I found it, okay. So then this one is zero. That's true. The distance to distance to one two is um, four. Okay. Then distance to two one is three. Yes. Okay. That's correct. So then I go to one, two, and its neighbors are uh, 
His neighbors are Tutu and... 1, 3. Okay, yes. And then I get that the distance to 2, 2 is 6. That's 2 plus 4 plus, I guess. And the distance to uh, to uh, 2, 1 2, 1 is uh, let me see. 2, 1 is 3. Yes. 2, 1 is 3 still. Okay. So the distance to 2, 2 should be six and the distance to one three is five so four plus one okay then one three so this one four and two three then one four becomes eight which is five plus okay and a uh, two and 2, 3 is 6. Okay, so okay, it was 4, 1. Um, okay, so now it's it's correct, right? It's 6. Okay, so now it goes to... It goes to 1, 4, and that it's only either is 2, 4, and it finds out that the distance 2, 4 is 13. Okay. 2, 4 is 13. Ah, I think it's maybe just because I I finished the search too early. Then it goes four one one five. Okay, I think maybe what does it say for the example now? Still says one to one. Maybe I need a. Um, I probably need a priority queue. Maybe I can, uh, so when I do neighbors here, I'm not gonna, so this is gonna be list of income and in this case gonna be like this. So I always wanna select in the right order, I think. Okay, and the uh, rest, cat maybes, MBNS. So this one is actually gonna be, it's just gonna be, it's not gonna be map maybe anything, okay? We're just gonna have int comma int, but we have also gonna have the new distances. So then this we write the parade parent and then we write the new distance and we say cur dist. Otherwise uh, otherwise we return uh, n comma t dist. And then we might see nodes multiple times, but with a different parents. So then we just say 
NS prime. We add NS prime here. And we so we go the init and it's gonna have distance zero. And now we are gonna do sort on second. And we're gonna say sort on here. We actually don't need to trace this much. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe the Maybe it's if it's so. Then now we can throw out the visit if it's visited. Um, let's sort on second filter not dot first not is that dot mem member visited. dot a <laughs> oh this is actually visited it's not unvisited um So then we visited the physics as then we're getting there with the shortest path. We don't want to go backwards. Okay, let me just fix this. <laughs> so we don't want to have a visit, but we also want to remove all the we want to remove also the cur, right? I think it might not be going twice into curve filter. And not equal first curve. Not equal to curve. to actually print out the um the lines because hmm. now it seems to be going three two one five 
three, two, one, five. I'm not supposed to be going four, one, one, five. Let's have this left, down, right, up. Okay, so now at least it doesn't change the... Up, down. Okay, so now at least it doesn't keep changing depending on what I write. Mm -hmm. So four, one, one, five has a path length of 11. Three, two, one, five also has a path length of 11. So those two are fine. So it goes um, three, uh, three, two, one. So we should be getting one hundred and two here, but we are getting. One, we are getting 113. Very annoying. Let me just make sure I paste this again. Let's see, uh, 2122. Two. It would be very nice if I could actually. Let me see. Um... So let's give me the pass and um, we we'll print the path. What I want to do is I want to do the parse again. <coughs> Except this time I'm not going to return an array, I'm just going to return... Ding, ding, ding. I'm just going to return a list of list of int comma int comma int Parse to. And I think it's just the uh, res. Now let's a p2 is read file sample return dot parse to dot lines. Now let's uh, say here uh, let p set equals set dot from list path and then we're gonna say uh, map m map m um, put stir ln dot f on p2 So let f equal, so we're going to say here, this is f coordinate value 
equals kc member set dot member p set so let's just say if c is member p set then print x else we print a show v Ah, uh, this is gonna be completely messed up. Um because we don't want to put string ln put string and then we wanna say ln mm-hmm I think they should work. Okay, so here we do get the path that we took. Three, two, one. Ah, uh, but then it goes, okay, it goes up. And then it goes right four times. Let me see. We're allowed to do that, right? So we go up, and then we go right three times, and we go down, and then we go right, and we go one, two, three, and then left, down, right, one, two, three. It seems to be a valid path, at least, but it's just not the shortest one. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So db file it will do so this debug file. db example m ding 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 and then we want to debug db I try and what if I just return IB here so I say return res I get the different shorter path right yeah so then I just go Mm, to the right and then down. Okay, but I do want to return res here. If I do less than equal to this, it does do give something else. Uh, trace show m. Um, uh, 
Ok. Ehm... But it turns one earlier. So I go right down, right, right down, right, right, right. And it's 535, and instead it goes for. After an exit, it may only turn left, continue straight. Maybe is there some other rule that I'm not? It's also just hard to kind of spot a wrong choice here. Yeah, let's see. It should go... So it goes... Uh, 353. But it could go 633, yeah. Let me see, but here it goes. Um, he left the good the starting point, love will stop left destination. Keep the topic of straight line for very long. You can move almost three blocks in a single direction before it must turn 90 degrees left or right. You can't end after entering his email on your left, continue straight or turn right. And that's all taken care of with his visited, right? So you were never going back. What does it say for the input? And it certainly seems to be doing something for the input. I'm gonna just check this. Probably too high. Yeah. I mean, it's not like, oh, this one is, looks super silly, right? We print uh, to the debug thing again. Um, Let's see, so I have the path. I am going to add 1.1 to the path. Full path, okay, and then I'm gonna say, um, get tears, and I'm gonna say x, y, 
Crest is equal to um, how to get how did I get from y to x x comma from y x um, get there's y res and then a uh, get there's um, let p be there's equals a uh, get there's on reverse full path okay and um, Now I'm just gonna write here. So we're not gonna derive show. We're gonna say instance show dear where show up is equal to the up arrow. A this one show down is equal to v. So left is equal to show right is equal to okay and then so here I'm gonna say case a C map dot bang um map dot from list PV jers of yes D we're gonna say show D show V Right, so this is actually P V there's and this is C right in get there's ah okay and then get there's we just keep the first element Okay, and then we go down left. It's not as nice actually. Let me see. This is a different letter, is it? Maybe it's just ah. Uh. Okay, we certainly have the... We got a nice debugging thing going on. That's something. Still wondering what to so we go right, right, down, right, right, and then we go up. Uh, instead of going right and up, we go up and right. Let's say down, right, right, right. So instead of going 
so here we go up and right so we go it goes three and two and instead we go three no we go up one earlier so instead of getting uh, four and three so we get uh, four and three whereas this path let me see so it gets four one okay one yeah and then it goes five four five three but we go five four four three we go um We go uh, five. So here, it, here they are the same again, right? But maybe that's because now they can do three times here. Uh, okay, and we can't do that because we chose to go up earlier. Right, and the problem here is that, yeah, there is a shorter path that um, that still allows this. So it's just this valid neighbors thing. It's just, uh, it's not doing, it's not what we want. <sighs> okay, yeah, so it's, it's a complication, right? We did, we did Dijkstra correctly but uh, the, we're getting a wrong path because there are shorter paths mm -hmm, mm I want to see this on the input. It's going to be nice with the updated version. So we are too greedy in selecting in selecting the neighbors. Maybe I can do something like um, that the possible neighbors are always just so not just the ones that are right away but also the ones that are farther away. <clears throat> so let's see. Um, Do 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 do
Oscar Allen was yesterday like, oh, this is so easy. Uh, but I'm not getting the complication right here. Let me see. So, um... Let's just uh, start again, okay? Uh, let me get so so. I'm gonna just take more steps every time. Okay, uh, valid neighbors. So I'm gonna take like three steps at a time. Let me just uh, git commit. Git add day seventeen. Git commit um, day seventeen partial. Day 17 not working. So that we have this code. So now I'm going to make it. So instead of giving the immediate. Instead of giving the immediate neighbors. I'm going to say. So the. Let me say take path. Let me see, okay, so... So, um... All paths, so it's gonna be, um... Up, down, left, right. And we're gonna make a combination of these um, So I think what we can do is we can do X, Y, Z and do um, X colon Y colon Z colon like this and then we just do like this. Like up, down, left, right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Up, down, left, right. Oh, and this needs to be a dollar. Now let me do here. So this is these are this is all paths of length three. Okay, and now I'm gonna do something different here. I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say, uh, do, okay. I'm going to say, and be car parent of something. If we have a parent, now we're going to say case and be current parent of nothing, all paths. Okay, so so we're gonna say here map. So moves is gonna take a list of int int no an int int and a list of dear. I'm gonna do int and moves. It's just fold L uh, prime move. Uh, 
Well, I think, well, okay, maybe... Why not fold... L... A flip... Move. So fold L has type... Oh. Could match type there, okay. It's again, I am forgetting, fold L. Yes, uh, okay, fold L, and then... Do we have the list? Okay, it was just the fact that... So we do, uh moves per all paths, right? Return moves a uh, oh map moves curve let x equal um, e the NS equals... Ah, uh, no, it's actually not like this. It's just map moves. Yeah, so it's the final neighbor that we... Just CP. Let D CP equals from... CP to curve in We just want to filter um, so we if the current previous parent trying to do it again I'll just see let's just see what happens if I just do uh, I just return like this So first, I want to, let me see, do let, so let me see, we do, um, we have all paths, so let me see, F, cur, nothing is equal to cur, F, D D S is equal to is equal to uh, cur 
apply to FDS um, but we are going to say F move move cur D and this is gonna be map uh, F map a PS is equal to like this in filter inbound let's just say inbounds p case p filter inbound dot last filter all inbound ps ah this should not be in of course Okay, so I will have here not any so we don't want any of them visited. Okay, so now let's figure out the path cost. Path cost int. So we have a list of ints. And uh, we're going to give st s. Ah, thank you, Unity. Path cost Lexus is equal to So we're gonna do a map R R Bang C S Sum Okay, um, so we have all paths that are valid. And let's just actually, we want all of them to be in bounds. And let's just say, um, case uh, so let's just see mbp is read array parent curve a case mbp of just p then let dp equals uh, from p curve uh, in R is equal to that we have to do this before actually. 
So if there is nothing, then we just do give all paths of nothing. Map F cur all paths in um otherwise we we return map f cur and then filter we're just gonna say not dot first equal d p so we're just gonna remove all of the ones that take the same I think otherwise it would have shown up earlier. Okay, now we have the all of the paths that are not and um Now we have the so we look up the tentative for the last of all of these and the current is going to be um, let ds cur is equal to map plus cur dist um, Okay, so, right. So here, we are not going to say read array x. We are going to say... We're going to say... Um, yeah, we does not... Let ds cur equals map. Uh, plus cur dist as cost. Okay, so now we have the cost of taking all these paths. Okay, and now we are so we just sip the NS here. So let's uh, make this actually a list and then we are gonna map okay so here if if we find a shorter path So we do white array disks and then this is just going to be last of n. Mm. And we are going to say last of n here and last of n here. But, so here we took a path. So then we are gonna say, um, so let f x, y rest is equal to right array um, so I'm going to reverse it actually parent and we're going to say y just n or just x because uh, okay yeah so an f of Uh, 
and if we're at the end no right so this is actually going to be x parent and y and right uh, x is equal to right array okay so i'm gonna write array parent and then i'm going to f y rest Uh, but here and then here I'm just gonna say right array parent X just curve so now we are jumping three at a time <coughs> error in array index <laughs> Um, ah, and I have to do here filter all inbounds. over this thing okay it didn't crash but it certainly did not do anything I see trace show ns ms just crashes right away. I didn't actually write any parents down here. Um, F N Got to reverse here. So they should all be inbound, and you cannot let me see a uh, filter dedupe. So we don't want like repeats. That's messing things up here. Um, Let me see. Set out from list. P a uh, length P is equal to set out size 
uh, set up from this P. These are all the combinations of all the paths of length three. Okay, yes, all paths three. Uh, all paths two. All paths one. That's actually just like this. All paths is equal to all paths one, all paths two, all paths three. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna just I'm just gonna cancel this, okay? Return map F cur F cur all paths. So the parent of y, no, I reversed it, yeah, okay. It's strange, right, because it's... It's looping infinitely, but then it's not... Uh... Let's see. Then it just adds the empty list, right? Tracial M length rest. looping on
Ah, uh, this is not supposed to be Curtis. I think no, sorry, it is supposed to be Curtis. Mm -mm. So the one at the end of the past is in. Okay, so it has to know. So then this will just be empty, right? And this will just be empty. Uh, maybe it's trying to reconstruct the paths. Trace show M T D this target. I was getting ninety nine. Which is exactly um this one plus the Okay, so now, okay, so, yeah, so the, um, path to the target is wrong, I think. Ding, 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 ding. Mm -hmm. There's a, like a loop in a path somewhere. Um, so 99 is, um, it's exactly the length of the path, so, the, so minus the last one, right? Okay, uh, so right array parent. So somehow 11.3 became its own parent, right? And I think it's. Okay, so we wrote it to visit it. Let's see, uh, this should maybe not be... Okay. Here we all the have all the possible paths. So here we just return nothing. Okay, and here we're just going to say 
Um, right array, so the parent of y is just x. And we are going to say... And I'm going to say... Um, parent... Right array... Parent... Add in... Just... Curve... The first one should be a um, okay. Now at least I don't get a. Mm -hmm. Ah, because I don't do recursion anymore. F y r okay so get the um, We don't need we don't need these parents. Let me just not to construct the path. I think it's actually supposed to be this target. Um Plus the target. So now I want to just say that it's Dijkstra 2D. I want to say it's a, this target plus R, R bang target. So then we get the flight answer, but this. Yeah, this plus target thing is just something I just made up, right? But let's see what we get. Don't want to print so much out, actually. It's not finishing. Or the input. So the one we did before was at least correct. It was just, it was just uh, not. Doing the right number of paths, like the right paths. 
like it, it like there were other options for paths just to get reset I want to grab this at least uh, this is one of cool maybe get reset uh, get checkout day 17 dot HS okay now we're back to this point where we Got the wrong paths. <sighs> and it's because we're too greedy here, right? We always just say, okay, just. Okay, it's been super long, uh, where we have Dijkstra correct, uh, but we don't have, we don't have the, we don't, we don't, we're not doing the path correctly. We don't have the right way, the right, um, Mm. It's it's annoying, right? Because we're doing part one, right? and I think probably part two is not too hard, or maybe yeah, maybe it's just exactly the same. So I could also generate just all possible paths, right? Um, no, that's crazy. Would make sense to generate all possible paths, filter out legal path, valid paths, and then... Um, at least get us parse part one right if we just generate all paths but that's so stupid right and especially for the for the input it's not gonna work hey hey felix we have the breath first search cut it up we just uh, we are too greedy with the paths so it doesn't work
What if I... Um... Just go the other way around. and then we get an error in from and this one should be actually 13 13 so it doesn't crash mm -hmm. let me see P length uh, trace show um, uh, sum so here we get a hundred and six So we're going to say, um, let a PL equal to, so SPL is this, and then we're just going to say, um, trace show M, SPL minus r r dot so we don't enter the min in it but r r dot but we do enter the target 107 Can we at least get this uh, initial part part right now? No, because we go or we go here. No, but it's not. We're still too greedy. Do you update the path if you find another way to a node? Following path can be chosen better or longer because a new path does not have to reach the limit of three. I, I do update it, right? So it says here, if the current disk is less than the tentative disk or equal to, um, then I update the path. So it does do that. But it's still... Uh, still gives the wrong path.
Maybe I should not filter visited here. Let me also not filter visited here. I think then it will loop. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, no, we definitely don't want to visit it. Get visited here. and then filter not not set on member so you're only into visit it if we're like do you research the path after it or only update So I don't look at anyone I've found because the argument is that if I get somewhere, that is the shortest valid path to get there, right? Do you research the path after it or only update the path to that? No, no, I don't. I don't research, right? Because it's. Okay, so what you're yeah, so what you're saying is if I found a better path to a node, then I should research that node. Mm-hmm. MBNS. Let's try that. Um, so I will not filter visit it. And let's see, so now I found Let's see, um, if and set that member visited, then try show M and now three turn. Let me see. I mean, so it's never the case that I hit. That I found a new valid neighbor. That I had not seen before, right? Because you could come from a second direction to that node that with what allows you to choose a better path afterwards. Yeah.
but it's never the case, right? It's I, like I, I, I never see a node again. Let me see. Why don't I ever see a node again? <laughs> I should be seeing them again, right? Ding ding ding. Visited Kurdist Reiteratists Kur. Mm -hmm. So I get the distance to the current one. Let's do this here also. Yeah, so it's often the case that I'm seeing again something that has a larger tentative distance. Mm -hmm, mm Do it this way. So there and if curve But well, I think the thing is that it, because uh, it uses the parent arrays. in when it's checking this one, right? Mm
What is this one one three three nine? I don't get it. Make the three a four or five. So which which three? Four and five. Uh, okay, so you want me to Okay. Let me copy this then. So what is the answer supposed to be here? So this one here is not included as an option because that would mean I would have to have come up here. Okay, now I, I'm sorry. I'm talking about my example, the one in the advent of code. We're quite close though. Yeah, I mean, so I mean, <clears throat> I know, I know what the solution should be, right? So the problem is, 
that the one here is not offered as a valid neighbor because we're coming from the left to it, right? But the problem is that we wouldn't be coming from the left to it if we'd got gone right here and up, right? So that's the problem. So we can, and it's just, yeah. So it's path dependent what the shortest, shortest route there is. That's the thing, right? It's not like I'm suddenly going to come up to a point uh, from some different route. Because I'm, I'm not taking any different routes. Like, I'm just going the shortest route always. But so I, but route I've chosen, shortest route to this point here, is uh, this path, right? This is the shortest valid, like one of the shortest valid paths. Okay, so I guess I... Um, Let me see, okay. If it's like this. Uh, cur dist is equal to t dist. Do, and then j show mn return and cur just okay so these are the nodes where there are two possible paths So then let me right change this parent list here. Empty. Mm-hmm. Let me see, so right, right away, let me say, um, what if I array parent, and then n, maybe that's straight, maybe I just have to do, um, Here we had modifier if I array uh, the array, the index, all right.
Now we're just going to reconstruct a path. Uh, no, let me see. PS, so then we're going to say... Um, Okay, um, this is to, to say that there are two multiple paths, two paths to the parent. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me see, so these are car parents Okay, um, so the valid neighbors, so the possible paths here, let me see, and then we're going to say, Map M, read array, parent, car parents. Okay, and this is going to be a list of list of ints. So the so they have the possible parents. Okay, and um, for each of those parents, we have the list of possible parents. And then... Okay, so this is just cur parents. So, um, let's see. So the, the, the possible paths to cur is a cur parent, a p to cur. We're going to have here, um, So this is going to be reversed, okay? A cur, cur, uh, no, sorry. So cur parents is like this. So here I'm going to have a sip with M. No, I'm just going to have map M. And then a CP, and I'm going to have read array the parent of that one. So 
So now this is the this is the list of paths um, car parent parents this is the list of paths to car <laughs> mm, we see, okay, so CP is a distance. <laughs> Uh, I think I think I get it now. Okay, so these are the possible paths to to cur. And now cur parents parents. I what I want to do is I want to take a cur parent parents. So all of the paths. And this is a P. Okay. What I want to do is... I want to say here... It's a read array of the last P. And then... We are going to do... P concatenated to that, right? Um, so you take the last of the path. No, oh, okay. Z trace show her parents. Okay, and um, let's see, let's map CP to a uh, cur CP. Oh. So we're going to say um, over this map to one of the parents, we're going to say cur CP. So now these are the paths to curve. And now, okay, we want to do the same here. So curve parent parents. So we're gonna say um, so map M. So we have the a path here, and we're gonna. Read array parent last p. Over um, cur parents. Um, okay, let me see.
So we, we added the... So for each of the parents, we found the last. Yeah, and then we just... Um, map P to that, I think. Mm, okay, wait. So this is a path. We find the rest of the path. This is going to be the same as this one. Okay, and then... Why can't I map like this? What is this? Ah, uh, okay. So for... Yeah, so I'm gonna... Add that to the... This is gonna be the head. And this is gonna be... T... And then again... No, oh, now it's too many. Car parents, okay. So we, and then... We concat map like this. And then we do it again. So these are all of the possible paths to curve. Paths to curve. Curve parents, parents. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and then this is maybe this cut square is just going to be. show um let's just see what it is for the example okay then it's just an empty list good so now these are the paths to curve So the, uh, these are the IBs, okay, and I'm just going to say, uh, move, uh, map, move, curve, okay, so we have the IBs here. So now I'm going to say uh, all pause nays is equal to um, so path and new neighbor and we're going to do dollar and we're going to say uh, paths to cur and we're going to do ib. 
Okay, and this is gonna be... Paths to Kerr, so we reversed it. Actually, no. Yeah. So Kerr was at the end here. And then this is just... So this is gonna be P... And... Hospital Nate Paths. Okay, and then I want to say, mm, filter is valid of Hosney Paths. Where, um, is valid. Uh, what is valid is gonna do is first of all, it's gonna find the, the, the directions it took, okay? Uh, that's the similar that we did here. Is this get tears function? Mm. So it is valid. So an empty path, empty path is valid. So now let's see what the actual path is, right? Um, like left here, left, right, left, right. So, uh, turns, x, y, this is going to be x, y, x is, is equal to, um, from how to get to x to y uh, turns y axis Okay, so if I end up with something, this is going to be, you know, from the first one to the next one. Yeah, okay, so this is fine. So is valid P is equal to um, is equal to case turns of return um, map last case turns P of um, and then let's just say um, X Y Z Uh, w x is equal to y is equal to z. Now let's just say trans p of um, yeah, okay. x, y, z. So they all have to be equal. x, y and 
x equals set and x equals equals w false um Let me see, I think, and they should all be of length, this length, I think. True. Error is valid. Uh, I think I, I, I know, I mean, I know what is wrong, right? Uh, the problem is more how to implement that. A, X is... Okay, um, hundred and ten. So if past the cur is empty, if no past the cur, then I be return I be else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm.
Let's see if any. Then return IB. If null car parents or So these are all the paths. Two one. X is case length X is less than four. One, three, two, three, two, four. See if I just put Troll here. Uh, but then it's saying that they're like there is a valid path, but we didn't take it. Let me just see equals a group. Mm -hmm. 
So it says uh, 2333 three, three. 33333 three, three. and then um okay let me see from pressure curve pressure curve Parents, ratio, so we have two, three, and three, three. So for three three we had two possible ground. Oh, we have I think something is wrong. Tracio M okay read okay and then read array parent curve trace show Why does it... Okay, so it has two valid parents. Two parents. Ding, ding. Mm, okay, so I should not make it here. I should have this as... Something wrong with a concat map here. Okay, I think I just need to... Concat here. I was concatting at the wrong level, I think. 
So what do one one parent car okay treasure car parents parents okay this is car and then parent car car parents if null car parents or any null curl parents parents or null if null per care parents or null cur parent parents so for three and so for four three we could have either come from We could have either come from three three or four two. Okay, so that's three three or four two four three. Okay, and then it's either uh, then it's two three 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 four three. That's valid. Um, I think I did it again here. Concat. And again, it's if null. Pass to car, return IB, then else do. Let me see, 4, uh, four 3, so that's something interesting, right? Mm -hmm. So for 2, 2, so now we're looking at um, Two three. So the parents of two three are either it's either one three or two two. Because it would have been four plus one. Uh, I think if it's less, uh, okay, if it's less, then it's just cur. And then it's just um, right ray cur. If I find another path, then I do the uh, curve. So for 11 to 12, 5, there's parents 11, 5 and 12, 4. And I could have come from, 
11, 5, or 12, 4. So apparently I could have come from 11, 4, then 11, 5. Or 11, 4, 12, 4. Or 12, 3, 12, 4. Oh, okay. Than three. Okay, I guess uh, maybe I'm not. I need to trace show again here, I think. Trace show M. Um, paths to curb. And then. Ratio M. Um, all pass nay path, and then this should be. <laughs> okay, this is less than or to four. Okay. Because they should not all be the same. Send me nub dot sort. Don't you import that from data list? Okay, so these are the possible paths. Let's see, if I say less than three here, Then there's then should never be more than two, right? Maybe because there is a possible path that. Oh my god, there is a, there is an eruption. Uh, in Iceland, not bad. A,
Wow. And it is uh, not underneath the town, which is great. Means that the town should be fine for a bit. Well, meanwhile, I'm doing additive code. Okay, so what I think is happening here is I am now writing all the possible paths. Um, but I should, like Felix underscore five said, I should um, I should let me see car parents car parents parents right yes good mm hmm mm hmm So that when I do, um, when I do make a choice, I think I should just return here. Um, I do return map last. Mm -hmm. Let me just uh, remove this, all these tracing. If no, no, okay, then there's no thing. Let me rewrite this. Valid paths. Mm. Take an int, comma int, s t s, in comma int, and then we here we do return. Maybe what's the paths? And we will do this. Let I be a valid paths equals do a valid nays. So here we turn nothing, here we return nothing, and here we return. Just okay, uh, but we do so we will just recalculate this and say valid EPs is a valid paths cur case VPS of just PS. And uh, then we'd return map last ps nothing return ib mm 
then turn nothing, then turn nothing. Okay, so basically. What I have to do here is um, I have to if I if I got there by a new path, I have to say um, What does it say now? We were still getting 110. And it's still not selecting that one there. So the thing is basically that if I if I chose one of the paths to get there um, So let me see here This is NS so okay so here I'm basically saying okay find a shorter path Then I'm going to do um Uh, VPS is um, valid paths curve and I'm gonna say um, ace <coughs> uh, VPS of nothing then we just write this parent if I, I have some paths, then I have to say uh, let RPS equals filter uh, is equal to n dot last of PS. And then we have the new path. And then we want to say... Um, F, X, Y, X, it's equal to right array parent X, parent X. So the parent of Y is just going to be X. And then F, Y, X is. And then finally, f of y is equal to, so this will be n, right array, parent, y, hmm, right array, parent, Yes. And then F RPS. Map M.
Um, why am I getting... So I'm doing the valid neighbors, and then I filter all is valid. Okay, then I can just do map. Just empty. Right <laughs> array parent in cur. Otherwise, it's RPS. It's going to be one, right? In FRPS. So how can I have a... So I have the valid paths. And I add the... And to the end of it, and then I filter, okay, and then to me see ah uh, okay the pass what So you have valid neighbors, curve. And it was a just.
Mm-hmm. So here there are two valid paths. Either it's a 1-1 one, one or 1-2. One, Two, three, three, okay, which is to be expected, right? But I found... Right. But if they are the same length, uh, then I, I really should not... I should not change them, right? <laughs> okay, but, um, It might have changed the set of valid paths, right? Okay, so I have to just do here um, RPS, and then here I write. I don't write array parent. So first, first I actually. So let me see. So clear. Um, Clear uh, x axis right is equal to right array parent x empty clear axis. And then I want to fill them again. I do, um, I do this nub dot sort sort dot x nub dot sort dot x So we are going to say here, do clear map m clear RPS. So first we clear all of them. And then we update all of them. And this is going to be curve. But it doesn't like this because it should be modify array. Mm 
113. And if there are no valid paths, it's just because I'm in that. In that uh, easy case. Mm Okay, I clear all of them, and now I'm writing a uh, parent. Uh, no, the parent of Y. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Trace show M. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I shouldn't clear the map clear. Tail. Okay, I did the clear, but now it's still giving me same wrong path. Valid paths, let me see. Ray show him. BBS. Maybe we should um, Okay, tray show M and then have links. Path. Link. I have it here. Uh, P links. Yeah. 
let me see Thresho and RPS comma map Okay, so there are shorter paths. So two of them might be valid. But uh, there are shorter paths. <coughs> um, Let me see here, reconstruct P. Um, pause. Okay, and then I'm gonna, instead of reconstructing this, I'm gonna say, um, I should really just be keeping the... The last one, right? So after I've seen all of them, what does it say at the distance to the target is? Does it the same actually? Ding. I still feel that we should be getting closer here. So we, <clears throat> whenever we find a new path, right, we clear the old paths. We just write the new paths. So for some of them, there are two valid paths.
Let me see. Um... What if I reverse these? No, I still get the same. Okay, now I finally selected the right one, and I'm getting a length of 905, which is the sub minus the target, right? Construct the path. Okay, it seems like clear, then I clear too much, right? Clear dot. of head I have seen so but once I I think I once I visit a node then I need to finalize the path to it. Okay, um So then I do The 
Let me see. Um, finalize. Let's do. Uh, but the paths. The paths I take next depend on the current path to. Cur, right? <laughs> Up to the RPS, let me just see what happens, okay? Um this target minus R R bang target. Then I get the right answer here. Um, now let me just do it for the input. And I get preload.empty list. What does that mean for valid paths? So there's no valid next one. What does that mean then? Okay, so I'm having I'm looking at fifteen comma two. Okay, now this is sorry, this is the input. So fifteen comma two is perfectly valid. Um, now, if I have Ratio and then N and N is what is the N is Because VP valid paths occur, and I map last PS, right?
to trace show M. What? I don't understand. How can this be? How can I have uh, neighbors? And I, I'm getting... So the valid neighbors is uh, the valid paths of curve. Okay. And then I do it again. And I'm getting different results. Uh... Okay, so because in the meantime, the paths have been filtered out because I updated them. So like the two, two are interfering. I'm going to try this guess. But yeah, okay. I had an even better guess before. Let's just remove this. Ten thirty five. One last guess. We have to wait five more seconds. We guessed 1036. We're still too high. And it's also giving the wrong. On the example. Given the wrong. 
and it's because it doesn't pick this path even though now it like has the option to do that right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let me see and uh get a socks um, parent trace show m um, This is 110. The only way to reach 110 is 19. So the one the way, the way to reach 3 4. There are two ways a uh, come from two four or three three apparently. So if you get the pause, let me see. We do um, map reconstruct path pause. Map M reconstruct reconstruct path. These are going to be many path reconstruct path. Uh, taking an int comma int and an STS int comma int. So two ends. Let's see. Um, so this is going to be a list of list of ints. And we're going to say map. We're going to be doing the same thing as here. I think. Let's see, um, so concat map M um, P map T P P. over reconstruct path um, see I think I what I do is so I do um, I do map M reconstruct pass pause so 
cross prime is going to be a list of list of lists. Okay, so So for all of these lists, I'm going to do map So there's going to be a list of lists. Map curve. Okay, find still paths, but they are both the same. So, and then F here is um, path. We're just going to make it do all the work. Uh, PVD or DERS is, is actually going to be taking the path. Uh, uh, and now we are going to say, um, see that there are multiple paths uh, 
and they differ. But they just go slightly differently here, but it's not allowing the other one. Put Maybe I should just always modify the parent. Unless I find a shorter path, I modify Just always adding parents. Trace, show, M, curve. Is it just looping? Uh, maybe. show and um, this target I get 78 Okay, none of this clearing business.
Where do I get um, so then I get so then I always get all the valid paths to a node. Let me see. So this is the same as when I had the when I didn't do any of the filtering. These are the valid paths for all of them. Okay, so one, one can be reached by one, two, and two, one. This could actually be the stupid um, stupid way to do it, right? So here we get all the paths. just uh, show the minimum path length. Like it's not even working for the example, right? And it's gonna give us the shortest path, which is the distance. Oh, 
the problem is that um, this one here, one nine, it says it can only be reached by two nine. But it should also be able to be reached by 1 8, right? And why is it doing that wrong? It's because so 1 2 can be reached by 1 1 1, okay. Just see. Um, okay, so the problem is that we go to this three four. So this three here um, can be reached by going up like this. This three should be reachable from so one seven should be reachable from one six, one six and two seven. So one six one six. Hey Chris, I've been coding now for too long, six hours. But I'm not making it's not happening. So one six should be reachable from so it's saying one six is reachable from one five, but one six should also be reachable from Two six. What is it saying about two six? Two six is reachable by two five. So now we get a uh, one six is reachable by one five, one seven, and two six. Filter not dot 
Flip set dot member visited dot last Now it's saying 102, 96 it's saying. If I add the parents and I filter the visited. The paths are all wrong. Okay, generates a lot of paths. At least some of them have the right links.
I'm going to show the shortest path. It's almost there, but it does allow this... Um, multi group thing right Peelings. I went to the uh, University of Iceland and then I went to Chalmers, which is good. Dress, uh, let me see. We're not interested in this. Let me see. Um, Sorted is equal to uh, sort on P length paths. So we do head. Sorted. And then we do um, trace show M map healing. Sorted. Okay, so here we are getting the right path. Trace show MP P links it sorted. Okay, at least it finishes for the example. It's currently going to be crazy slow for the input. But let's let it run. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do, do, do.
Hmm. Yeah, it's missing one uh, put string at the end to show the bottom one. <sighs> now it's basically just creating all the paths. And. Um, We <clears throat> try and make it a bit faster. Um, we can say here. Paths. Two. And I'm gonna say here, um, filter is valid paths. I need to do it a bit later. Then I can kind of throw out um, invalid pass right away. Let me see, did this make, they make things slower actually? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's see. <sighs> Let's see. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, this is not gonna finish anytime soon. So, I mean, at least we're getting the right answer now for the example. Um, we are doing it super slowly. Um, we could probably do it in a better way. Uh, we have Dijkstra's algorithm coded up but uh, we are just not able to kind of make it take all the valid paths in a nice way so I'm gonna call it a day for now I've been streaming for like six hours or something uh, and we're gonna let this finish call it a day and uh, yeah, keep trying tomorrow, but oof, this is a difficult one. I I don't know why everyone's saying like, oh, it was so easy. I it's something I'm not, some the way I'm encoding it is that I'm not, I'm not able to make it work. All right, but uh, thanks for tuning in. Sorry for how extremely long this was, and uh, see you tomorrow where we can hopefully finish this. All right. Bye-bye.